Once, a great physicist named J. Robert Oppenheimer stood in the desert of New Mexico, surrounded by the immense power of the first atomic bomb explosion. As the blinding light and deafening sound engulfed the area, Oppenheimer quoted a verse from the ancient Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. And in that pivotal moment, the uttered words echoed through time, drawing us into a profound reflection on the consequences of our own creation. But how did Oppenheimer, a physicist of his time, come to possess such profound knowledge? Welcome to an extraordinary journey into the enigmatic technologies of the Rig Veda, one of the ancient sacred texts known as the Vedas. The Vedas are a collection of scriptures that form the foundation of Hinduism, believed to have been composed over 3,000 years ago in the Indus Valley region of ancient India. These texts contain hymns, rituals, and philosophical insights that offer profound wisdom and knowledge about the natural world, human existence, and spiritual enlightenment. Today, we embark on a deep exploration of the Rig Veda, the oldest and most revered Veda. It is within this sacred text that we find references to fascinating technologies that were seemingly ahead of their time. From advanced mathematical concepts to atomic theory and even flying machines, the Rig Veda offers a glimpse into a civilization that possessed remarkable knowledge and understanding. Vimanas Let's begin with the technologies mentioned in the Rig Veda, starting with the intriguing Vimanas. The texts describe Vimanas as flying machines capable of traversing through air, water, and even space. These accounts can be found in texts such as the Yantra Sarvaswa and Vaimanika Sastra, which provide detailed descriptions and even blueprints of these ancient aircraft. The Yantra Sarvaswa, believed to be written by sage Maharshi Bharadwaja, describes various types of Vimanas and their construction. It mentions the use of lightweight materials, such as metals like gold and silver, to build these flying machines. The text also outlines propulsion systems, including the use of mercury as a fuel and mechanisms such as gyroscopes and propulsion engines. In the Sanskrit Samarangana Sutradhara, which literally meant controller of the battlefield, it has been written, strong and durable must the body of the Vimana be made, like a great flying bird of light material. Inside, one must put the mercury engine with its iron heating apparatus underneath. By means of the power latent in the mercury which sets the driving whirlwind in motion, a man sitting inside may travel a great distance in the sky. Similarly, the Vaimanika Sastra, attributed to sage Maharshi Bharadwaja and compiled in the early 20th century by Pandit Subaraya Shastri, provides further insights into Vimanas. This text describes the construction of different types of Vimanas, ranging from those capable of traveling within the Earth's atmosphere to those designed for interplanetary travel. It mentions the use of solar energy as a power source and advanced control systems. In his book, Vedic Archaeology and Assorted Essays, Dilip Kumar Kanjilal explores the possibility of Vimanas as ancient flying machines. Kanjilal examines the descriptions within the Vedic texts, comparing them to modern aviation technology. He highlights the intricacies mentioned, such as landing gears, steering mechanisms, and even protective shields, which suggest a level of technological sophistication. Furthermore, research by David Hatcher Childress in his book Vimana Aircraft of Ancient India and Atlantis presents a compilation of ancient Sanskrit texts that discuss Vimanas and their capabilities. These texts provide specific details about their construction, including the use of alloys and advanced propulsion systems. Theory of Atoms In the realm of particle physics, the Rig Veda provides intriguing insights that predate modern scientific understanding. The ancient Indian sages, guided by their deep wisdom and logical thinking, delved into the nature of matter and its fundamental constituents. Maharshi Canada, associated with the Rig Veda, is credited with the atomic theory. According to his postulations, matter exists in various states, with the smallest unit being the Parmanu, which can be understood as the atom. Canada conceptualized the atom as indivisible, without magnitude, and resembling a point source similar to the concept later developed by Boyle. He recognized that atoms possess potentialities that manifest when they combine with other atoms. These primary combinations give rise to dyads and triads, forming the basis of matter as we know it. The Rig Veda also presents the thoughts of Maharshi Karaka, who further explored the nature of atoms. 
Karaka postulated that atoms are the smallest particles of matter, and it is through the influence of air and action, energy, that atoms combine and separate. Other ancient Indian schools of thought such as Ashtanga Sharira and Nyayas contribute to the understanding of atomic theory in the Rig Veda. Ashtanga Sharira attributes the combination and separation of atoms to active air, while Nyaya suggests that atoms of earth, water, fire, and air differ from one another and are spherical in nature. These atoms can combine with other atoms due to their specific shapes. In the world of modern science, one prominent figure comes to mind, Robert Oppenheimer, the renowned physicist who played a key role in the development of the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer himself was captivated by the wisdom contained in ancient texts, including the Rig Veda. When he witnessed the first nuclear explosion, he famously quoted a verse from the Bhagavad Gita, a philosophical text inspired by the Vedas. He said, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Oppenheimer's connection to the ancient wisdom contained in the Rig Veda highlights the enduring relevance of these texts and their profound impact on human thought and scientific exploration. When Oppenheimer was asked if this is the first nuclear explosion, he significantly replied, yes, in modern times, implying that ancient nuclear explosions may have previously occurred. Astronomical Knowledge In the Rig Veda, there are several references that demonstrate a deep understanding of astronomical knowledge and the measurement of time. These references showcase the remarkable accuracy and sophistication of the Vedic calendric astronomy, predating modern science by thousands of years. The Rig Veda, an ancient Hindu text, contains references that demonstrate advanced knowledge of astronomy and time measurement. These references show that the Vedic people had a sophisticated understanding of celestial bodies and the measurement of time, even before modern science existed. Here are the main points simplified. Asterisk Rig Veda 125.8 mentions Varuna's knowledge of the 12 moons, referring to the 12 synodic months, the period from one full or new moon to the next. It also mentions the addition of a 13th month occasionally to align the lunar year with the solar year. Asterisk Rig Veda 1.164.11 and 48 describes a solar calendar with 12 30-day months and mentions the option of a lunisolar system with intercalary months. Asterisk Rig Veda 1, 155 speaks of three 120-day periods representing the three seasons in a solar calendar, with each season consisting of four months. Asterisk the Rig Veda hints at the origin of the Nakshatra system, which divides the zodiac into 27 or 28 parts corresponding to the side real month. Asterisk Rig Veda the 399 states that in a 297-year period, there are 3,339 intercalary days aligning the lunar and solar years. This calculation yields an almost exact length of the year, approximately 365.2424 mean solar days. These examples highlight the Rig Veda's remarkable accuracy and detailed understanding of astronomical phenomena and measurement of time. The Vedic seers possessed a deep knowledge of celestial bodies, lunar and solar cycles, intercalation, and the interplay between various astronomical periods. Their observations and calculations, preserved in the Rig Veda, provide evidence of a sophisticated astronomical tradition that predates modern scientific discoveries. As we come to an end of this extraordinary exploration into the secrets of the Rig Veda, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on the vastness of ancient wisdom that has captivated our journey. From the awe-inspiring Vimanas, the ancient flying machines that defied the boundaries of air and space, to the profound atomic theories that predated modern science and the meticulous astronomical knowledge that shaped the measurement of time itself, we have witnessed the brilliance of our ancestors unfold before our eyes. But this is just the beginning of an endless quest for knowledge and understanding. The mysteries of the Rig Veda beckon us to dive deeper, to uncover more profound insights and timeless truths. So join the community today Subscribe now and let the ancient secrets unfold before you. So my friends, thank you for your time today and remember to always seek the truth.